Hi, this is Light from RedTrack, and today we will talk about roles in a channel or ad network settings, whatever you want to call it. So what are roles when it comes to RedTrack? Let's jump into the uh, sandbox we have. So a couple of traffic channels here uh, in traffic channel. So let's open Facebook settings. And you can see that we have roles. AAD, CAD, uh, GID, RT campaign, and actually we can add more. For example, RT placement, and then we can add RT ad set. We have it ad group, and then we can have RT ad, and we actually have uh, other RT settings, and then we have some others without RT, uh, but just three letters. So, first of all, these are used for integrations. All the API integrations we have, like cost updates, rules, you will know that they typically bound to some IDs. If you want to change it, remove, change, but please do it at your own risk, because if you remove it, all the integrations on the ad level will stop working, because we will we'll not know the ad ID for a specific ad and will not be able to reach to that data via API and to get the costs or to block the ad, etc. Now, the RT parameters are used to consolidate the data. Why it is needed? Because before those parameters, you would be stuck either with UTMs like this one or with carefully thinking through all your tracking parameters across all your channels to ensure that, for example, campaign name is always sub-6, which is not really always possible. What we do is we create you these roles that will consolidate key values that you might want to use to analyze your traffic. Source, medium, campaign, ad group, or ad set, ad placement, or keyword, across all your ad networks, all your channels, into preset wells, right? UTMs, but on the back end. So whatever is the parameter name, whatever is the parameter order, if it's RT campaign, we'll know that it is a campaign name. And then across multiple reports that we have, we'll know that yes, that's campaign name, it will be very easy to find on the acquisition dashboard, in the reports, and in the logs. And especially when you want to consolidate it reports, across different uh, ad networks, across different campaigns in one place. Let's see it live. So, we have uh, two uh, campaigns from uh, Facebook and TikTok in our dummy scenario. Let us uh, copy the dummy scenario here. That send traffic uh, to landing page to offer and then we'll get some conversions. So, let's try first. Facebook, then TikTok. Facebook, we get to offer. We create a conversion. Great. Now we close this window. We'll do TikTok trick. Click. We get to offer. And we do the conversion. And uh, then let's do another click from, I don't know, TikTok. And then we will not, will not get even to the offer. Leave it here. And then we'll do go back to campaigns and see the data. So we have two TikTok clicks and one Facebook click, uh, one LP click, one LP click, one conversion, zero conversions here yet. I don't remember if we did that conversion or not. Uh, already sorry for that or maybe the conversion will arrive there in a moment so but if I want to check that particular offer offer page yellow in here and for TikTok I hope it's the same and we have not messed up the experiment um, okay Let's do it again. Offer page yellow.
close. Let's see how fast Red Track can actually update all the finals. I don't know. Let me try it right now. So tick tock click landing page. Yeah, yellow page. So now we do thank you conversion. And uh, let's go back to data. Uh, still, yeah, here I still don't see it. So uh, should arrive uh, quite soon. But let's uh, see how the data will be used in the reports for the roles. First, let's do a uh, TikTok reports. So go to campaign reports. So we went to campaign rules. And let's go to campaign reports. Data for today. And I want to know what campaign gave the best traffic. So I can do it by sub six, that is campaign name. Or I can do it by RT campaign, which will actually give us the same uh, data. But what if I have multiple campaigns, like in this case, running traffic all to the same offer page? And I want to see which of the channels, which of the campaigns on those channels work best for me. I have two ways to do that. I first can go to acquisition dashboard, pick up of the offer and the level of data, RT campaign. And I can see that we have uh, TikTok and Facebook campaigns sending traffic to that offer. Of course, I can set up the uh, depths of data in here to the way I need and jump into details like I do in uh, Facebook dashboard, in TikTok dashboard, or in Google Analytics dashboard. But the goal is that here, right on this page, you can uh, see all the traffic across all your channels that got to uh, this campaign. And we don't see Facebook campaign, so I still probably messed something up with clicks there. Uh, so then what we should do next, we can go to the offers, pick up the data for this particular offer, Uh, yeah, I can see that we have not uh, updated the data, so they all go into offer page green. But again, so let's uh, go to uh, this offer data. And then we'll pick up either sub six. But hey, I don't know what exactly campaigns are under sub six across all my networks. So what I'm going to do is that I'll first pick up campaigns. And then I will assign a role, pick up a role, like RT campaign. This will give me the value into what red track campaigns drive data to that particular offer and what campaigns in win ad networks are involved. And then uh, here's Facebook. Now, what I need to do is to figure out the setup. So it actually shows me uh, both campaigns for lending to offer. So let me double check the whole setting. So we go to campaigns. For Facebook, we have it's pre lender. Hold on. Let me sort this data here. And when I do the screen recording, it's always slower than it should be. So TikTok and Facebook. Facebook has 00011 off a page yellow. Close.
TikTok. Also has this page, but we have not recorded clicks, so uh, fine. Now we'll check what's going on in the logs. Because in the logs, you can actually do the same. And this will be the final stuff uh, of uh, showing you the roles. So we'll go to the logs. And we'll go to the logs for either clicks or conversions. So let's start with the clicks. We'll filter them by offer. And we see on the Facebook clicks, if we go to some other pages, I will just remove this filter. We'll see where the TikTok clicks went. So TikTok clicks went to a different offer. But they all went to green. So the changes I made were not uh, processed by RedTalk that fast. And that's why I have those last three, five minutes. So I ran into the issue. I know. So good. However, what's also important is that in here, even in the logs, if you scroll down to the right, you'll see that we have those RT parameters. And we store all those values here, so you can easily find them without checking for all the sub parameters. You can just check RT parameters that are always consistent, whether in the report or in the logs. And same for conversions. Again, all conversions we made today, parameters are consistent. Again, RT campaign. So you can easily identify uh, the values you need, human readable values typically, by uh, RT parameters that they will be available in the logs, in the acquisition dashboard, in the reports, or in the consolidated reports on the offer or web property for uh, advertising customer level. So, hope the video was helpful. Again, to recap, in Red Track, in traffic channels, we have roles. Roles uh, are of two types. One type used for API integrations. They typically are three or, or four letter abbreviations. And then we have roles that are used in for human readable data to consolidate names of different objects across different tracking parameters into one consistent place, like RT campaign, RT source, RT medium, RT ad group, RT ad, RT placement, RT keywords. And uh, they are used to see cross channel, cross campaign reports either on the dashboard level, in the consolidated reports in RedTrack, or in the logs. So, hope this roles review was useful and enjoy using RedTrack. Thank you.